everybody. Um, it's been a very long time since I've actually done a vlog like this. Uh, we've been so busy. It's nearly over a year, I think. I'm so sorry, but we have been very busy. And for any of you who don't know, um, we set opened our first ever bricks and mortar shop. So Crafty Studio has changed from being virtual on online to an actual physical shop you can come visit and touch the fabric so um yeah it's been crazy busy and i just kind of wanted to start doing my vlog again because it gave me something to keep me on track um uh, you know with my sewing do uh, making a plan sticking to the plan if i have to do a video and show you guys and tell you what i've done uh, it was great you know and it's nice to get the feedback from everybody as well um i if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see um, I have a few bits lined up, but at the moment, I'm just going to show you what I have been sewing in the last while. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, scrap sewing, which sounds a bit mad, like why would I do that when I have so much fabric in the shop? Well, I have so many scraps and bits and pieces, and I was clearing out what was our old studio, and I had absolutely tons of, tons and tons of, of bits and pieces. So I started sorting them all out. And... Uh, I put them in bunches together with like all the um, sweatshirt together, all the wovens together, all like a kind of to do with the actual uh, fiber or the if it's a knit or a woven and things like that. So I had a lot of jersey scraps and the kids needed new clothes. So I decided to bundle them up together in ones that matched with weight and with kind of patterns and then see what I can get. So I'm going to show you one that I did a while ago. Um, I was actually talking to Rachel from um, the French Seams about this recently, about, you know, making kids clothes and she makes a lot of stuff for her little boys. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I was telling her about this method. So I think maybe she's going to try it out. But this is one I made a while ago. Now it's getting a bit too small for Al. But this is leftover sweatshirting for me and some leftover bits of jersey. And I did do ones where I chopped up the sleeves as well. So the sleeves have a couple of different patterns, but they have actually gone to a cousin because they no longer fit. So that was one I did a while ago. And here's one I did recently. Oh, that pattern for anybody who wants to know. Um, I used to do the Sammy sweatshirt. Love that pattern, but it only goes up to age seven. Um, so she's in age eight now and he's in age 10 to 11. So I have to find another pattern or grade up each time and I know I can grade and I have done for him for, on the Sammy but um I just don't have the time so I'm just gonna do another one so this is the Sammy sweatshirt and I love this I've actually made a um a like a billy jumper dress version for her if you know what I mean I think I, I'll see if I can find a picture I'll put it up here um so I made a version a longer version and hacked it a little bit because you know me I just never stick to the plan um, so this is another sweatshirt. Look at the size difference. Oh. So yeah, it's getting big. <laughs> so this is two different sweatshirting patterns put together. And this pattern is a raglan pattern. Um, and I used some uh, ribbing for the neckline. I don't normally use ribbing. I normally just use leftover sweatshirt fabric. But we've got ribbon in the, ribbing in the shop. Um, and Sheila... Uh, O'Kelly um, I think her handle is just she at Sheila O'Kelly um, she's on Instagram and Facebook I think she prefers ribbing and she suggested to me to, to bring me in the shop so I tried it out and I kind of never my fan really the only thing is like sometimes you just want the same on the bottom I didn't want to put ribbing on the bottom so this is actually a faux hem can you see that I don't know if you can see that so there's a hem like a, a band but it's just turned under and sewn. It's not added on, I just folded it under and sewed. I do that a lot, but for the neckline, obviously you can't do that. Um, and I put it on the cuff as well. So that's another one for Alva. Um, and that's the Waves and Wild um, Adventure sweatshirt. Um, and they go to age 12, which is great. And they've loads of options. I really like their patterns. Thank you, Rachel, for putting me on board with those ones. Um, so I've made a couple of those. Here's another one. It's 
gifts for this this one actually James made if you follow me on Instagram um, and Facebook I put up some pictures of him making this with me like he didn't do it all I did the bits on the overlocker because it was too loud and scary but there's a, um, a sweatshirt for him this is in a French terry and I use the navy ribbing for the neck. And how cute is this? James is just, his obsession at the moment is space. So he loves this. That's his one. Again, Waves and Wild Adventurer. Um, and then I did, that's, that's quite, and I've done a few other ones. They're hanging in the shop, so I don't have them here to show you. But um, I think I've put them up on Instagram. There's lots of different ones. I've kind of been on a bit of a batch cut. So that's what I do. I take out all my scraps and I batch cut them and see what I can fit and these ones are from all odds and ends and bits this one is actually the Rowan I went up a size and did it as a sweatshirt scrap ribbing from a jumper I did which is actually a rib fabric like a whole fabric not just the one in the little tubular thing and then this was given to me in a bag of scraps by a friend and she was like here you might be able to make something for the kids so there's a jumper um, and there's a few a few other ones, but I basically batch cut them all and then batch sew them all. So there's loads more, but I, I get bored like showing you everything. Um, the last one I've made for Alva, and I just oh, I love this, I love this so much. I love this. Look at it, look at it, look at it. This is a leopard print um French terry, and I made it hacked it into a dress. So this is the Sammy and I graded it and hacked it into a dress. I used a regular jersey for the neckline, the ooh, bit of a thread, uh, cuffs and the bottom band. Now I didn't put pockets on it. Um, I don't know why I didn't put pockets on it because I normally do. I think I was just being lazy. But I know she's going to give out to me and I have to put pockets on it. Anyway, there we go. Um, and then look what I found. In Tesco. Oh, leopard print tights and a leopard print dress. Can you tell I want this for me? Seriously. I'm not a person for yellow, blonde hair, yellow. Don't know, but still, I think I'd wear it anyway. How cute was that for Alva? So, I might have to get her a little pair of boots or something to go with that. Um, <coughs> God, they're growing like weeds at the moment, kids. So, that's what I made them. Oh. Sorry about that, that was the doorbell. Sure, I'm in the house, I'm not in the studio. Um, sure, that's the part of vlogging at home in real life. Um, yeah, so that's what I've made over the last while for the kids. Um, I've done a few bits for myself. I'm wearing a billy, it's an old one. Um, but the big thing that's happening, rock tails. Rock tails! Um, 31st of March, anybody who wants to come along, don't have to know anybody. There's loads of people coming on their own. It'll be great crack. Um, I will do a whole video on what I'm going to make. I have the plan in my head. But my other plan is for the summer. My brother's getting married in Spain. And I'm going to do this. This is the Summer Dreaming ebook by um, So Over It. Um, and that's a whole other vlog. Probably several ones. And you're probably sick of me. But anyway. So, um... Uh, I'll leave you at that and um, I hope if anybody has any suggestions at all, pop them below. Give me a little like and a subscribe so you know I'm going to hopefully do loads of these. Um, and uh, I'll chat to you all soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.